Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how to create the perfect renders for any object in Blender. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use this vehicle, which has been downloaded from the website called like 3d.com. So just I will put the link in the description so that you can download and you can practice it. So basically we got this uh, perfect model and with the texture. So if you want to see the textures, we can go to this option. So we got this materials and already there is an emission material which has been applied. And also to speed up this tutorial, just already I have created all the lights. So just have just turned off a time being so that I can explain like one by one what are the settings are going to be used for these lights. We have created this camera. So first we will render this. So we can go to the render image. So basically now there is no lights is been uh, created in this blender means like I have turned off any, everything and we got this thing because it has been given with the emission material means like uh, so if you want to know like how to apply the emission material it's simple so see whenever we select this object uh, so here there are some materials which has been applied so here you can see there is an headlight which has been given as an emission. So simple if you want to create an emission material so just you have to create a material. And after that, uh, here, instead of this principal PSDF, we can select the emission option, uh, which is here. So basically, I'm not giving any materials for this thing. Just I will show the light. So now when we render, we got only the emission material. So defaultly, in order to create the base light, first I have used the spotlight here. So like if I turn on and just I will turn on the render. So this is a spotlight which has been created. Uh, so if you go to the settings, you can see I have used a power of like 1000 watts and like this is a spot size. So how much size you want to create. So basically let it be like a 75 and blending and the radius. So the radius of the light and also blend is nothing but if you want to create the like smoother edges around the light, just we have to use this blend option. So after turning off this spotlight, we can see how it is going to be look. So just we will go to the render. So we got this uh, base light and you can see there is a like smoother edges over this thing because we have used a blend. And also in this case, uh, we are going to use, uh, I am going to show like uh, different kinds of render engines. So defaultly at present, we are going to use like cycles and with CPU. So if you want to render with a GPU, you can use this GPU compute. Okay, so if you select this, uh, you can enable the GPU so that the render will be more faster than compared to this CPU here. And also for some people, the GPU will not be enabled because first you have to select the graphical which you are going to use. So in order to do that, we can go to the edit preference. And here you can see defaultly for you people, it will be like none. And if you are using NVIDIA, you have to select this CUDA. And if you are using Redon, so just we have to use this hip. So for timing, I'm going to use this CUDA and just like you can close it. So we can select this device like GPU. So and now next, what the thing is, when we render this thing, we got this lighting, but I want to create some sort of lighting from this side also. So what I have done is like I have created area light. So like if you press shift A and you can go to the lights and you can create any sort of light. So already I have created. So here this is the area light. And now this is an area light, which is going to be directed towards this direction. So these are the settings here, uh, like if you go to this light properties, you can see the spread and the size. Okay, if you want to increase more intensity, you can increase the power of this thing here. And now finally, we want to create the uh, shadows. Suppose if you want to create the shadows in any specific direction, we can use the directional light also. That means like sunlight. So here I have created the sunlight. Uh, so like I will turn on this. So this is a sunlight. So it depends on your situation for uh, what direction you want to create the shadows. So according to that, you have to rotate this thing here. So let's say if I give the direction to this thing here. Now we will see and just will render. Okay. Uh, sorry, first I have to enable in render also. So we have to enable. So make sure you have to enable this thing so that the light will be affected in the render. So just render settings. And now we got this nice lighting. So see, and we got this shadows too. And depends like what kind of ground material you want to use. Uh, so you can select, I have created the basic material for this ground. So if you go to the material, just I given orange. So if you want, you can create a little bit of light. And also like if you want to uh, create the reflections, 
uh, we need to increase uh, like sorry we we have to decrease this roughness so that it will be reflective and also if you want you can increase some little bit amount of uh, metallic so now you can see if you render so see we got a little bit amount of uh, reflection if you want more kind of uh, mirror kind of thing so just we have to decrease the roughness a little bit more and also i can increase uh, metallic a little bit so now if you render so now we got this nice reflection and now what the thing is, suppose if you want to create some kind of bloom effects, means like, see, whenever the object is going to emit, uh, I want to create some bloom kind of effects. I will show like what is bloom. So now you can see this is an image. So what the thing is, if you want to create some bloom kind of effects, first of all, we have to increase the emission for that headlight which has been created. So like what the thing is, see, if you select this object and in the materials, if you go to the headlight, so here I can increase the strength. Let's say if I increase up to like a uh, hundred or something, let's say if I go to hundred, now we will render this thing. So see the emission has been increased, but what, what I want is I want to create some bloom kind of effect means like the glow effect will be uh, spread around this vehicle also. So in order to do that, just we have to render in cycles, sorry, uh, EV renders. So if you go to this render options and here in the render engine, instead of cycles, we have to select this EV and also make sure we have to enable this bloom effect. So see now, if you turn on this bloom, we are going to get this nice glow effect. So which will be look good if you want to create this kind of effects. So, and also if you go to this, you can increase and decrease the threshold of this bloom effect here. So def by default, the value is good like a 0 0.8. And now we are going to render this thing. So see, we got this nice uh, bloom effect. And if it is in the night time, it will be very good. Means like I will turn off the lightings uh, for timing. So just I will turn off this uh, sunlight. And suppose if I go to the area light, I will turn off the area. Light. Oh, actually so area light has been not affected, sorry. So that's fine. And just if you go to the spotlight and I will turn off all the lights and just we'll see how the bloom effect is going to be affected. So see, now we got this nice uh, render with the bloom effect. So without bloom effect, if you render, so for example, if you select and if you go to render settings and just go to the bloom and turn off it. So we got this uh, basic thing. So it will be good when we turn on the bloom effect. So the bloom will work only in the EV render. So just we have to enable this thing. And for timing, suppose if I enable the uh, spotlight, so just we'll see this thing. So see, we got this nice uh, render here and it is going to be render a little bit slow when compared to like uh, rendering with the GPU. But if you want the bloom, bloom effect, so we have to render in EV. So in this way, we can create the perfect renders in Blender by using these lights. And also if you want to see the, like with lighting effect, we can go to this option like viewport shading. So if you enable, it will show the final output with the lighting. So it depends on your system performance, like uh, like it will work, means like whatever the changes you're going to do in the lighting, it will apply and it will render this thing here. So in this way, we can create this kind of lighting in Blender. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.